Pidim, 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 pidim. I have never heard as many planes as here. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Math Life Balance and we continue the series K-Theory Wonderland. Today I want to tell you my favorite fact about K-Theory and as always if you can't follow the math I'm telling please don't worry it's totally fine and if you want to learn more you can look in the video description for more references. So previously we have seen that K-Theory is an invariant. It takes a ring uh, or an algebraic variety and associates with it uh, its K-Theory space or K-theory groups. And so it's an example of an invariant. And my impression is that mathematicians love invariants that are like the minesweepers field. So if you remember the game where you open some uh, cells and together with a cell you might be lucky and open a bunch of other ones to see if they are mines. And the more you open, the happier you feel. And I think the same applies to invariants. So we like to study invariants that are maybe not um, well known for all rings or all varieties, but uh, which have some certain features such that if you learn the value at some concrete variety, then you uh, learn about its value on a few others. So for an invariant like K-theory, you'd like to have certain rules that let you compute its value on certain varieties from a given one. And today we will talk about examples of such rules and an unexpected connection between them. Okie dokie. My iPad is dying. No, 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 no. Okay. So our example today will be of two different kinds. One example will be given by homotopy invariants. This rule allows one to uh, compute the value of an invariant like K-theory on a constant family of varieties. And another example will be given by a certain kind of gluing, which allows to detect the value of an invariant globally when it is known locally, so by gluing. And the punchline will be that K-theory, in fact, will have neither of the rules that um, I will describe, but the cool fact will be that if you impose either rule, you get the same object. So let's see what happens. The first rule is given by homotopy invariance, or in fact, a one homotopy invariance, which was explained before in the video by my student, Haris Darsan. Watch it if you haven't seen. And the main idea is that um, K-theory of a variety is the same as k-theory of a constant family of these varieties over the fine line. And this rule does not always hold for k-theory. As was explained by Hadi, this is true when x is smooth, so when it has no singularities. So another feature or minesweeper's rule that allows to detect the value of an invariant on more varieties than the ones we already know is um, the feature of um, satisfying gluing or being a sheaf. And we saw before that K-theory uh, is indeed as a risky sheaf. So it satisfies gluing with respect to open covers. I talked about it in the video K-theory dream, so you can learn there if you want. Um, so K-theory is indeed as a risky sheaf. So it satisfies gluing with respect to open covers. However, Grothendieck came up with more general ideas of covers, which are not just open covers uh, and don't necessarily remind of a chart of a smooth manifold uh, as open covers do. So let's say we have a singular curve. On one hand, we can consider this singular point inside it. And on the other hand, we can consider what happens if we try to smoothen this curve. So, so one thing we have is this singular point, and the other is um, 
what if uh, and the other is what happens if we try to make this curve smooth by deattaching one piece from the other so then having two points in the pre-image over this and so ideally the minesweepers feature of an invariant would be if you could detect the value on the singular curve uh, by from the values on the um, on the on its singularity and on the smooth curve so two simpler objects than the original singular curve and this would be an instance of a more general property called being a CDH sheaf. Uh, a typical cover of a singular variety in this generalized CDH topology is given by uh, taking the singular locus of a variety and its blob, which is a beautiful geometric construction which allows to get rid of the singularities or make them less singular. However, the um, truth is that K-theory is not quite a CDH sheath. So while we would like to have this feature, K-theory does not quite have it. So one might ask, what, what do these things have in common? And uh, as with group completion, we can in fact impose either feature. And the cool fact is that imposing either feature gives the same thing, which can be written as follows. So it's a theorem by Denisha Sisinski, which tells you that if you take K-theory and on one hand impose being constant in A1 families um, or on the other hand impose being a sheaf in this generalized sense in the CDH topology then what you get is the same thing. So this on the left hand side you impose one kind of rule for computing K-theory and here you impose another rule to get a computable invariant. So why do I like this fact so much? Well, this is because the rules that we are imposing are very different and the procedures to impose them are also very different. One rule is about understanding the value in families once you know it on uh, just one variety and the other rule is to understand the value globally once you know it locally in some generalized sense. So a priori these rules have nothing to do with each other and in general if you take a random invariant they will not agree. However it's a feature of K-theory that in this case the imposing these rules gives you the same result. This theorem was proved by Denisha Sisinski who is a friend and colleague of mine and you can see him on this photo, which was taken when we were eating delicious ice cream in Essen, the paradise of algebraic geometry, where I did my PhD. Really, I didn't realize. Is it true? Thank you. Okay. My assistant says that the British way of spelling this has an E here, and that is the main comment that I got regarding the math presentation. <laughs>